Welcome to this new video. This video is all about persistent filters in Power BI Service. You can enable or disable the persistent filter in the options and settings in Power BI Desktop and you can publish the report and with respect to that persistent filters will be working. So you can get the persistent filter by going to options and settings and under the current file you will get the report settings and in report settings the first option will be persistent filters. Default the persistent filter will be enabled but if you want to disable it you can check this click mark and we can select OK. So what this persistent filters does is that in report you enable to embed your organization. When the persistent filter feature is enabled, reports reach in the state including filter slices and other data view changes. So if you if you have a filter and if you upload the report to the OBS service and if the, if the user changes the filter there and if he goes to another report or if he goes to another page and if you come back, that filter which the user enabled will be persistent. That means the filter with the user enabled will be still filtering the page. But if you disable this persistent filter, the user when he goes to another page and come back, the filter won't be there and it will be like the default page which published through the Power BI desktop. So we will see an example of that. We can go to the page and we are having a table and we are having a slicer here. In this table, we are going to select the product name and we will select the revenue for that product name and we will be doing some page level filter here. We will select the calendar year Then select the hierarchy also. You can select the year and we will be selecting only certain years. We will be selecting 2017, 18, 19. Only three years we will be selecting here. And then we in the slicer, we will be selecting region names. Of course, we have this much regions and this much we are going to upload it. And already we have a page level filter here which filtering this page. And you can select the filter with respect to the region name also. But we are, now we are not going to select it. We are just going to publish it. Before publishing, we can go to the file options and we can enable or disable the persistent filters. Go to the file menu. And in the file menu, you can select the options and settings. Go to the options. And in the options, go to the current file. Under the current file, select the report settings. And now the persistent filter is enabled. Initially, what we are going to do is that we will disable it first and we will see how it is working. So we will select this and we will disable it and now we will select ok now we are going to publish it of course we are having a page level filter here we will see definitely this page level filter will be applied when you publish in the service also so we are going to so publish it we will say save it and we will publish it in the workspace so the publishing was success and we will select OK. And we, now we will go to the Power BI service. In this Power BI service, we will go to the workspace which we have published the report. And we can select the report here. And we got the report with the filters which the developer did in Power BI desktop. The filter page is enabled and the slicer, nothing has been filtered th through the slicer. So now we are going to filter this product name with respect to the region name London. and. We will select the control and we will select the north also. So we got this much revenue and now the user is going to go to the workspace once again. And once again, the user is going to select the report. And now we can see whatever filter the user selected that has gone. The filter is not enabled. The filter is not persistent. Here. But at the same time, it went to the default filter. Like the initially when we published the report, the filter was date and year and it went to the default filter. Now once again we will try with under and once again we will just change the report and go come back to the report and that filter which we have given the London filter is not working now. So to make it persistent so that when we go back to the other reports and when we come back to this same report what you need to do is that you can go to the Power BI desktop and in this power bi desktop we can select the file go to the options and settings go to options and here under the current file select the report settings and in persistent filters for so selecting the persistent filter you can just take off the tick because by default it is enabled as persistent filters if you want to disable it you can disable it by as a default option and power bi desktop and service it is persistent so if you want to disable it you can disable it and you can see what we have done it now in power bi service now this is a default option which we are going to do we will see how the filter is persistent to the end user so you uncheck it and you are going to select OK. Now, once again, we will publish the report. You can save it and publish it. The workspace, which we are saying to, you can replace it. So the publishing is success. We will select the Power BI service and see. Of course, this is the report which we republished just now. And now, of course, we got the default filter. 
now we will change it to london and north west or north so we got the filter with respect to this region name now we will move to another report and just come back of course we are coming back to the persistent report and now we can see this filtered options which we did in this slicer it is still there it is still persistent and this is a difference between persistent filtered enabling and disabling because if you disable it and we come when we when the user goes to the other report and come back to the same report the filter will be erased and you will not get the result according to the filter but at the same time if you enable the persistent filter options that if the user wants to go to other report and come back the filter will be still persistent and you can see the result with respect to the filter which the user has done it before going to the other reports so this is the difference between persistent and filters enabling and disabling by default it will be enabled if you want to disable it you can disable it so hope this video will help you find some insights into persistent filtering have a nice day